Okay, so today I'm going to show my hanging ab routine. And it's a series of six exercises. I will show the, ver the, the regular version and then I will show the scaled version to it. Because um, these are really hard movements, so you may need to work your way or build your way up to it. Um, each of the six movements, I'll give you the reps for each of the movements that you should be shooting for. Again, you scale it as needed. And then ideally you want to build up to doing three rounds of these. Okay. If you want to do more on a, a, a daily basis, then you can do one round a day or maybe two rounds every other day, something like that. Uh, okay, so the first one is simply strict toes to bar. Looks like this. Okay, we just strict raise up, okay, and then touch the bar with our shins or toes. Um, there's a scale for that. Okay, now we're not going to be kipping or swinging with any of these movements. This is all specifically core isolation exercises, okay. So they're all going to be strict movements. Um, the scale to that is simple. We just come up to parallel to the floor, right? Make a 90 degree angle between our torso and our legs. That's the scale. Uh, 10 reps is the, the amount of reps you should be doing for this. Looks like my thing is slipping here. Okay. So the next one is knees to elbows. Come up. And we keep the toes in front. Bring the knees up. Toes in front. The reason I say toes in front, it keeps the core activated. When you bring the toes behind, it deactivates and stretches the core. Again, this is isolation movement. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking to keep the pressure on the core. That's also going to be 10 reps, okay? And the scale for that is either knees to chest or knees to 90 degrees, okay? Uh, the third one that we're gonna do is Let's show the movement. I call them flutter kicks. We come up, legs go above parallel, and we flutter. And we're going to do 10 on each side, or 20. And the ideal is to keep, to not let your legs drop below parallel. If you want to scale it, you can make a, an imaginary line coming straight out, and you can go on either side of that line, or you can go down low and do flutter kicks down low, making sure to keep your core tight so again you don't arc and swing. That's the third one. The fourth one is, I call it scissors. And so what you do is, you bring your body up and you get your body or your torso parallel with the floor. Okay, so horizontal. And then, hopefully it'll show on the video here. Let me angle it up a little bit. All right, let's see, let's get this sucker. Okay. So, we're going to do some scissors. We come up, torso, we get it parallel, and watch your shins, you don't smash into them, and we do scissors. And I don't know if I mentioned, but the flutter kicks, we do 10 on each side, I think I said. Total of 20, this one we do, we do 20 scissors. Okay, again, scale the reps as needed. Get my angle, okay. That was number four. Number five is going to be side crunches, hanging. Oh, let me show you the scale for the uh, scissors. The scale for the scissors, we come to parallel and we bring the legs out and again you do 20. If you can't keep the core activated and stay that high, then go low. Again, you can work your way up, okay? What I'd like to see you do is get the reps and then move to the next more difficult version of the movement. Okay, so that's back to the scissors. So the fifth one, all right, the fifth one is the side crunches, and we're going to crunch, crunch, crunch. Ideally, look at my, my thighs. They're almost parallel to the floor, and I'm crunching them, I'm crunching them up. I'm not swinging my leg, my knees up. This is not a knee up, this is swinging and activating the obliques, okay? 10 on each side. Uh, the scale for that is actually the same movement. You just won't come up as high. You just come up as high as you're able to, okay? The last movement, one of my favorites, super difficult. By the way, you can change the order of these exercises. If you wanna do the more difficult ones early on or in the middle, completely up to you. The last one is called 10 to twos, or um, what's the other name they give this? Here, windshield wipers. Looks like this. 
Now they call them windshield wipers because it looks like a windshield wiper. 10 to two is because you're going from 10 to two on a clock, okay? So that's a very difficult movement. You get your body somewhat or torso somewhat horizontal and swing the legs back and forth as you saw, okay? Here's the scale and the, uh, the reps are uh, 10 reps on that. So five on each side or five swings to each direction. And then the last, uh, the scale for that is we're gonna go knees up and over. Pretend there's like a little fence here. We've gotta bring our knees up and over the fence. Up and over the fence. And that's the scale for that. So the reps that I gave you are the ideal reps to shoot for. And you wanna build that up to three rounds of all six exercises. That's my hanging core routine. Stay strong.